Jeffrey of Howell's Carpet Cleaning here, and I wanted to uh, briefly discuss uh, the uh, quality of product being used to clean carpeting. As a consumer, I know that uh, you can go out and you can look at the, the cost of professional carpet cleaning is all over the board. And generally what the cost reflects is the amount of work and quality of work that I uh, professional carpet cleaning company is willing to do and the quality of the product that they're using to clean your carpets with. Now contrary as it may seem, the equipment being used to clean carpeting actually has very little to do with the end results. It really has more to do with the, uh, the quality of the cleaning product and the ingredients that the uh, cleaning products are actually made of. The application of pre-spray is to cause soil suspension to occur in the carpeting. Uh, much the same way as washing dishes in the sink, you'll add some Dawn dish detergent and you'll begin you know, scrubbing the dishes with an SOS pad or something and it's breaking loose all the gunk and everything that's on the dishes. Um, it works much better with Dawn dish soap than just with water. So that's sort of what's happening with the, uh, the application of pre-spray. And um, the pre-spray application should be followed up with some form of agitation as well, whether it be done with a carpet rake or with some sort of mechanical device. Um, there's a lot of debate as to what which method is better or less aggressive on the carpeting, but that's really what causes the soil suspension to occur. It's the, the agitation of that pre-spray in the carpeting that is loosening and breaking the bonds between the dirt, the carpet fibers, and it's it's obliterating all the, the sticky residues and everything so that when you go back with a hot water extraction or steam cleaning, it will rinse that stuff clean from the carpeting and without any issues whatsoever. Just like um, treating the dishes with soap, you just dip them into some water and pff, they come perfectly clean. So the exact same thing is happening with the uh, carpet cleaning process. And finally, I'd like to point out that affordable carpet cleaning is not necessarily cheap carpet cleaning. Affordability generally provides some sort of value to the customer at an affordable rate that makes sense and is reasonable. However, cheap carpet cleaning is cheap simply because it uses inferior products and cuts corners. So with that said, going back to affordable carpet cleaning and the value that it provides, um, it's, it's very important that um, during the carpet cleaning process that soil accumulation is removed from the carpets because soil accumulation is the number one enemy of carpeting. I mean that's what damages, that's what discolors, that's what scratches, that's what makes your carpets look old and nasty is the soil accumulation inside and you can imagine you get gravel and sand and stuff in your carpet and you start walking over it um, eventually it's just going to rip and tear things apart. So it's very important that that stuff all be removed from the carpet. With over 12 years experience professionally cleaning carpets, I can say that uh, pretty much without a doubt that a rigorous um, vacuuming, pre-vacuuming before cleaning the carpets, before the, the pre-spray, before the uh, hot water extraction and all that stuff happens, the fat vacuuming process and getting dry debris out of the carpeting is probably by far one of the most critical um, steps that can be taken as far as uh, improving the longevity of carpeting. In fact, I recommend to all of my customers to vacuum, vacuum, vacuum. That is probably the number one thing in the, the carpets that cause damage that do anything is is uh, an over accumulation of debris in the carpeting so that is my primary focus when I go into a home to do cleaning the first thing is to pre vacuum pre vacuum pre vacuum to get as much debris out of the carpeting as possible um, it is not uncommon at all to remove two to three pounds of you know debris from 
from even like a, a three bedroom apartment, two bedroom apartment. It sounds crazy, but the soil accumulation just builds up, builds up, builds up. And there is so much there that is hidden that you can't see. And it's just gonna wreak havoc on the carpets if it remains there. And at Howell's Carpet Cleaning, we use the best top of the line products that we possibly can. Um, it's not low end, it's not mid grade, it is top of the line. They are expensive products, but they do absolutely wonders for the customer. I mean, it goes from everything to petroleum and stuff brought in from outside to, uh, to organic things like food and spills and uh, pet hair and oils and dander and all that stuff that collects in the carpeting. This stuff goes in there and it neutralizes, it deodorizes, it sanitizes. It is extremely safe for children and animals. Um, never had any complaints. It doesn't smell. It doesn't leave any residue on the carpeting. And being 99.5% biodegradable, it has literally zero footprint on the environment. So it's very earth friendly. So if you are uh, into green cleaning, our products are very green and they'll get the job done. Again, my name is Jeffrey with Howell's Carpet Cleaning. I wanna thank you for watching today's video and hope that you were able to uh, gleam a little bit of information from it to help you make uh, wiser purchasing decisions down the road. Um, if you have any uh, questions or concerns, you can contact me directly. Um, my number is 503. 939-0534 and you have a blessed day and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye.